Hello everyone, this is KJ. Welcome back to Subsistence. Today we are going to go south as soon as this bullet is done. There we go. Alright. I have two keys. No, you can stay that way. And, um... I have some food. Oh, look at that smart aleck fox up there. I don't need those kind of supplies right now. Alright, just go. Straight go. We'll never get there. It's like... <laughs> we might be getting there in the dark as it is. I will pick this stuff up, though. Laying on the ground, free game. Fiber, free game. I'm going west. It's always so weird to me. It's, you know, I've always said it's shorter that way, but I guess it depends on what your destination is. Nice, more casings. All of a sudden, the game is taking some kind of pity on me. And now I have enough stuff to make a pickaxe if I need to. Just have to cut a tree. Uh, oh, that's a rabbit. Okay. I don't really want to miss out on any chickens. There's a bunch of copper right there. I don't have time for that. Let's go. <laughs> you know what? I think I left everything running. Oh. You might have to replace some meat when I get home. Just a little bit. Just like 25 steaks. I might have had, it's possible I had a few livers left. I'm not going to tangle with a kitty cat. I'm just trying to cut off some of the going around the lake business. Kind of a sore throat today. The uh, spring is sprung thing is still <laughs> pretty intense here in Southern Oregon, as I imagine it is everywhere on the West Coast. I don't need this stuff. I mostly don't need a cat to sneak up on me while I'm opening it. Oh, nice. Biofuel. That's always handy. As you see, I actually loaded the weapons now. Yes, yes, bear. You stay there. I will go over here. <laughs> oh my god, storm. This started this morning on the last episode. If you remember. We had a nice, brief, quiet little storm. Just a little bit fearful of a cat because uh, I'm gonna be like really upset if one gets me because it's the storm is so loud and it's all on the same soundtrack. I need to edit that way though. I need to go that way. All right, let's sort of set up a target here. We are going. Right there. That's our base. And I do not want to go over the mountains. Because <laughs> I'm a chicken today. I'm always a chicken when it's stormy like this. Oh. So loud. Yes, yes, I saw you. Almost no respect for you, Wolf. The last couple of times. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, where'd it go? There it is. The last couple of times I've argued with a wolf have been, like, close. Oh, like that. That close. Yeah, I know, buddy. I know. But I'm going to have to stop and eat, so you're going to have to stop trying to bite me. <laughs> yeah, no biting. Alright, let's go this way. Those blind hillsides are a little bit disturbing. You know, I could look for this locked crate and instead of running directly to the base. But there's a lot of wolves in my way. Today, oh, chicken. I need lots of chickens. Is that wolf chasing me? Oh, I missed him. At least I saw where the arrow landed. I don't think there's any, like, effect of weather on arrows, but there's definitely some drop. Really? Dude. Why, thank you. I wasn't getting the signal to pick that up. I just turned myself around. <laughs> Must have been doing the hokey pokey there. Because, you know, that's what it's all about. Hey, piggy. Now, you guys, don't be surprised if I miss a crate or 20. <laughs> This weather is enough to, like, totally distract me. And these trails go everywhere. Nice. I actually used to be really bad about pulling the mouse uh, to the right or to the left. Those casings are coming up nicely. Uh, since I used all of my sink making them. Oh, thank you. Oh, sweet relief. <laughs> I need to line myself back up. I almost passed it, you guys. That's perfect right there. There we go. I got distracted. <laughs> that ought to be enough. One tomato. There might be some food in the hut. I don't know. Obviously, we can eat the two chickens. Uh, I need feathers to make padded cloth, and I need weapon parts, and is there uh, a box down here today? No. Um, ugh, it's so dark. Here's the wee hut. Oh, I didn't make a stove. Well, that was idiotic. Um, I thought I made a stove. Ah, damn it. Um, I don't have enough stuff. I, oh, I'm shy one electrical part. And it's not going to be enough mass anyway. All right, well, that's okay. Let's do this. And... Wow. Oh, I have a fire starter. I can make a fire. I've got a health pack. <laughs> got stuff to make here. Oh, that's coming home with me. Uh, all right, let's uh, make a... 
open the door. <laughs> open the door before you attempt to walk through. <coughs> uh, what's the rest of that recipe? Four sticks. Um, all right, I'll cook them. You talk to me into it. I have got to remember to bring a stove down here. Because I don't foresee, like, a time when I'll be able to uh, make um, mass up here. I might, but, you know. Gee whiz. No, don't drop anything. Um, one more electrical part, and I could have done it. And I might have done it because not one of you is here in my head to tell me, don't build a BCU. That's crazy. Why would you do that? Hi, Wolf. Uh, especially with not being able to, to build any mass. I already looked right here to see if the locked crate was here. I know the chickens are going to burn. It's okay. Let's go down to the lake. We've got tons of time. Uh, I think that was my record for getting down here quickly. Oh, don't be like that when I can't see you. Oh, there's a chicken. Okay, let's chase a chicken. Oh, there he is. Hold still. Alright, don't hold still. Oh, potatoes. I'm getting the feathers I need, which is really huge. There's a bear right there. Wow, oh, is that the locked crate right there? Oh my god. How far away is the bear? Okay. We'll go around this way. I missed that fiber. It's not. It's just the construction crate. Uh. <laughs> uh. Now I can build a BCU and shouldn't. Although it would make travel faster because I'd be able to see the marker for it. Smart Alec fiber. Sorry about the blurriness. I've got my head on a swivel here. There's some more ammo. Fingers crossed. Well, one casing. That is better than no casings. There it is. Yes! <laughs> Thank you, Gamo. Three weapons parts. I shall take it. And I shall take the three uh, sinew, which brings my sinew up to like eight again. And I've got two chickens. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven feathers. I need two for each. Oh, I think I can do it. Nice. What was it again? Oh, I need five. So I need a total of 20 feathers. Uh, all right, fine. Fine! I will continue to hunt chickens. <laughs> Thank you, game -o. Look at how late it is. It's late in the day. That's a long way home. If I had my winter coat, I would show you guys how I used to get out of this place. There we go. Nice little ammo crate. Everyone always says, well, everyone that knows anything about this game says, follow the fiber, follow the loot. Well, in, in the birches, you're surrounded by loot. And it's like, follow the fiber. Look at it. It's all around me. <laughs> It's true. Ah, another feather. Thank you. Uh, 
I'm going to have to, I don't have anywhere to go with this, so I'm probably going to drop something. Yeah. All right. It was just the meat. Oh, hush. What happened to it? Oh, I did get it. Okay. I missed the button, you know. Twelve feathers. Nice. Wait, is that a... No, that's a rabbit. I don't care about rabbits. Where am I going? South still. All right, turn around and go north. But I used to go... I used to go down the river that Mitt Ems lives on. I used to go down that river, and I would always end up in trouble uh, every time I started a new game over here. And um, scary stuff, people. Like when you're way up high in the mountains and you're dying, that you're you can't get out of the mountains fast enough. It's pretty scary. And of course, there's a cougar that lives right there too. For those of you that don't know, Mid M's base is right up there. And so I would follow this river over to try and get, try and get to that. See that where that point is is our base. Trying to get to the north end of the map where I knew where I was and what I was doing. You know, basically, it's all a learning experience. But um, yeah, <laughs> debating like got plenty of time. It'll be dark if we go straight home. It took us, um, I think it took nine minutes to get here. And there's a nice little snack. Uh, it really doesn't matter if I leave this or not because uh, it's honestly not um, going to be here when I get back. It continues to degrade. We can take those. Um, really is no reason to leave health packs here anymore. And I'm not low on cloth. That was nice. I wish we had an auto sort button. But, I mean, that would be kind of cool. Maybe. And then you'd have to move everything again. But at least if you could auto-sort, you could figure out, like, what you got. We might not make it. It's going to be dark. And this will bring us out on the east side of the big lake, I think. There you are. Took me a minute to see him. Night run! <laughs> it's gonna be a night run. I think the game changer for this is that you can see their sort of... Um, why am I so hungry? Just eight. Uh, you can see their sort of hit point counter. Hopefully it's clearing up and we'll get a beautiful night and it'll be nice. And I hear a chicken, even though I can't see him. <laughs> Unless that was one of my chickens. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh my god. Right on the other side of that lake. Oh, right there. We probably should go that way, but I usually end up swimming when it's nighttime just because it it's sort of safer in a weird way to sort of, if the coast is clear, to just swim across. There's a wolf. 
I didn't see that, buddy. Oh my god, please don't be it. No, that's not it. There's another lock crate down here, but I haven't seen it in a long time. And, um, I'm really, really hit and miss with remembering the lock crates. Um, and it's just because I don't have enough actual hours in the game, you know? I could probably walk around a good portion of this. Look at how fast we got past, got through there. Yeah, I know, but I don't know where you are, so just you stay in your corner and I will continue down the beach. And we're waiting for the moon to come out, I guess. Let's just go. We'll watch the sun go down. <clears throat> watch the moon come out. Where is the moon? There it is. Oh, it's going to be dark. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> it's just it's a sliver of light. I was, like, really concerned about um, the power running out because I left all that stuff running. I hope the screen isn't as black for you as it appears to be. <laughs> like, you can see my base marker. I'm looking at my playback screen. You can see my base marker. <laughs> and that's about it. But there's beautiful stars. You can see the sky if I do that. There you go. It's absolutely gorgeous. The whole, like, um, the whole game is just beautiful. Every month of the year is different, and it's, it's ultra, it's what I call ultra realistic, even though you don't have any feet <laughs> until you're in multiplayer. I guess you do have feet. You've got shoes on your feet, after all. <laughs> Let's just scooch away from the beach a little bit here. Let's go sideways a little bit. There's a big guy right there. I don't really want to fight on water. I have done it, but I had a shotgun. And uh, that makes a huge difference in the fight. So, it's like, yes, you can kill an animal while you're both in the water. But... It helps if you have a shotgun. <laughs> I hope you guys can see some of this. Sp stars are sparkling. And I think I can raise the gamma in post, but I'm not really sure how to do it with handbrake. And my copy of Filmora is so out of date. I never use it. I, there's been a couple of times when I want to write something across the screen. You know, like uh, like Midems does. <laughs> like, she, she does the same things we all do. You know, I mean, obviously she's like super professional subsistence player. But she does the same things that we do. Stand right over a rose hip saying, sure would like to find some rose hips. Know, but she writes on the bottom of the screen, gee, they're right there. <laughs> and funny things like that. This lightening up a little bit. Home sweet home. Fingers crossed we still have some food in the fridge. It's not a major emergency. I could make it to morning without any issues. Nighttime really isn't that long, to be fair. It's still running. This is not running. Oh, it turned off. It must have powered out. Perfect. And we have 100 mass as well. Oh, how many weapons parts do we have? That is so cool. Uh, oh, they're on my toolbar. 11! Only four more, uh, five more, uh, five total sinew now. Uh, I think the recovery is going rather nicely. 
to be honest with you. And yeah, I could definitely make uh, two more of these. And I think we should probably run zinc uh, since all the iron is done. And we picked up iron and copper in that chest. That was awesome. And glue, which is super cheap and easy to make, but nice just the same. Um, should I make another rope? Um, no, because I need the sinew. So I need, um, and I need, I have three rope. I need a total of, uh, is that nine padded cloth and four plates? I have two plates. Yeah, I need to run the zinc first. So we'll go ahead and run the zinc. I would really like to do this. Um, 25 iron? Really? I have 32. And I don't have any more iron. So I don't think so. <laughs> Not right now, anyway. Alright, let's put all the food away and then I'll reassess. Uh, grab some of that. Toss the chicken in there. 12 feathers is super nice. Uh, so oh, I got three tomato seeds in that. That's cool. I didn't have any tomato. See, I've got my good clothes right here. So pretty happy about that. Uh, next time we are definitely going to go uh, ore hunting. And maybe a little bit of wolf hunting too because I think I'm pretty close. 21 is not great. Um, there's a little bit of burnt offerings. Here we go. Uh, we'll just put that in here. And what else? Uh, 12 feathers. That is all of my feathers, right? I brought them with me. No, I have 13 feathers total. And we still have a lock crate key, so I don't have to waste energy building another lock crate key. And so that's what we'll do next time. We will go uh, get some ores. We'll go down to Ortastic if we need to. <clears throat> I think we will go that way, of course. And uh, yeah, we're recovering. We're doing great. I'm super happy about it. Need some water. Probably everybody needs water. Let's see here. Uh, there, there was like a huge rainstorm, so that's cool. Uh, I think we should get an animal maybe making some uh, fertilizer for us. I don't have um, a lot of, is it potassium? I was burning potassium to make up the difference. And it's not in there. Uh, actually, 60 is not bad. And I know that I need it for this stuff, but gunpowder is something that I have. Uh, ash is not something that I have. And Oh, you make jars in here? I didn't know that. I need to make that thing so I can make some jam so I'll be happier. <laughs> We're up to five shotgun shells. That's not bad. Um, shotgun's super easy to make. We can make that right at the end here. Might as well have it. Oh, I forgot the uh, cloth. Here. Cloth. We don't need that much cloth, but we'll go ahead and do it that way. And put that away. And move that over so that it will go to the correct place. We already have the pickaxes we need. Uh, oh, I didn't need plant water. Plants are watered. It rained like a monster. And so, yeah. Uh, no fire starters. Grab one of those. Go over there. I made a little short wall because 
I can't find the I can't find the short wall that I own. So uh, we need to load that. Um, so let's see here. Here we go. And then uh, I don't remember exactly what I was gonna do here, but there we go. There's a shelf. Um, we're just full on power. That's good news, actually. Uh, so, yeah, there was the shelf I was going to make, but I don't remember what I was going to do with it. Um, that can go up there. Doesn't quite make any sense, though. I don't know. And I didn't, I don't think I realized how high off the ground that was. I don't like that. I want to turn that around. Somewhere in this building <laughs> is a short wall, and I, I don't know where it is. That looks much nicer. So there's our shelf. I didn't need both of those pieces, I guess. Put that one back. And we will put that back. And we will load the few rounds that I have. And we'll have to just remember that, oh, nice. But that is an emergency weapon. And not mess up. <laughs> Again. <laughs> not to that degree. It's fine to get killed, but messing up to the degree where you lose everything is too far... You know, we just need a few more weapons parts and we will be right back to where we were before I got killed. <laughs> I want to thank you guys all so very much for coming along. Uh, I do hope that you have a lovely evening. When we come back next time, we're going to do a bunch of mining and um, yeah, we're going to get as much ore of every kind that we can. I might even make one more pickaxe. Uh, I hope you have a lovely evening. Bye for now.